What's going on guys? Johnny with Blaze of Grass Lawn Care and this is something that I wish I knew when I first started my lawn care business. Now, when we first start our lawn care business guys, the first thing we want to do is go out there and buy these commercial pieces of equipment or we buy a used one or whatever the case might be. But we never think about what type of properties are we targeting. Before we begin this video, I would like to thank Quad IQ for sponsoring this video. And guess what? Quad IQ is giving away a Ford F-150 work truck to a premium and platinum or enterprise subscriber. So if you need help keeping up with customers, sending estimates, invoices, or collecting payment, give Quad IQ a try for free. Just click on the link in the comment section and the description of this video. Quad IQ is the fastest way to send estimates, invoices, and get paid. The dashboard gives you real-time business analysis like your close ratio, sales, and expenses tracking so that you can stay organized and profitable. So check out Quad IQ with the link below. What kind of properties do you want to mow? What are your best clients, right? For me, it is subdivisions with HOAs because they need the pro uh, their properties mowed, they, they, they need the work. They have to have it in compliance. So, when choosing a mower, the first thing you need to do is look at what exactly are you aiming for in my area i'm in the south i hit like i said before subdivisions and all these subdivisions have gates and for some reason the gates are small gates don't get it don't understand why not make a regular gate size gate to get a big mower but okay it is what it is so the best size deck for you to get guys is a 36 inch deck now I will say you can get a stand on or a walk behind with a sulky. Guys, the last thing you want to do is walk this doggone thing, especially when we're in 110, 115. I don't want to be walking no doggone property. I'd rather ride it. And with a walk behind with a sulky or a stand on, you can always flip up the deck, flip up the sulky and walk behind it if, if it's too wet or whatever the case might be right but a 36 inch is the size that you want guys because i'll tell you this you can go through the whole day and mow your properties with a 36 inch deck okay you can hit the front you can hit the back with a 36 inch deck so this is the ideal deck that you want in my area right you can do all these cookie cutter subdivisions you can do all these properties with little small hills whatever the case might be and you don't have to worry about your mower fitting about your mower trying to get through the gate is, is the deck too big is the deck too small whatever the case so a 36 inch and a 21 inch will be ideal for you to begin your process. Now, if you are out there mowing these big fields or whatever the case might be, of course, you know, get you something bigger. Or if you can afford something bigger, have both. But at the end of the day, what you wanna do is really look at your properties. What are you targeting? Just don't go out there and throw flyers out without thinking, about the properties you know like case in point when I first started you know we have an area with subdivisions and we have an area with homes but there are older areas where they have a whole bunch of trees a whole bunch of uh, live oak trees on even grounds whatever the case might be so I used to go out there and I call it you know it's the east side and you spend a whole hour push mowing trying to clean up all these leaves and make the property look nice for I'm just using a number 40 bucks right and then you go to a subdivision where all you have to do is mow the grass there's no trees there's none of that stuff and make the same amount of money and you're out of there faster make sense so guys at the end of the day 
make sure that you're really, really paying attention to the properties that you're targeting for your business. Okay, just don't go out there and just throw your pamphlets and your, and your marketing material anywhere. It makes no sense, right? Awesome. Guys, thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. Have a blessed one. Please like, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. See you on the next one. Alright guys, see you on the next one. Pop smoke. Peace.